hello welcome back or welcome to my channel i am going to talk about everything to do with the dyson air wrap whether it's worth your money and all the attachments how i use it how i maintain my blowout one of my most asked questions is how i don't get them to fall out so i'll be talking about that <laughs> So the Dyson Airwrap retails for £479. Now that is an extortionate amount of money and it took me a long, long time to decide whether I wanted to buy this or not. What changed my mind and made me decide I'm going to buy it is because I really prioritise healthy hair and it has some sort of technology in it where it doesn't damage your hair as much as a hairdryer or heating or a curling iron would. My whole For You page is literally just full of Dyson tutorials and I was just influenced to be honest. If you want to buy Dyson, a little tip is wait until December when it's always on offer or I bought it in January, January sales on so and I got mine for like £70 off it. So I got mine for about £400, which is still a lot of money, but it was my 21st birthday and I thought I'm going to treat myself. I found it pretty easy to use my Dyson. I find once you don't overcomplicate it, it is pretty simple and I'm going to show you how to use it. So hopefully after this tutorial, we can slay our Dysons because, or you can decide whether you want one or not. One of the most important parts about using your Dyson Airwrap are the products that you use before. So this is my pre-Dyson hair routine. First product I'm going to use is K18. If you haven't heard of K18, it says it's a leave-in molecule repair hair mask. So you use it after you shower and then you don't condition. This isn't to do with my Dyson routine. This is just because I like to use this in my hair care routine. I use it maybe like one every three or two washes. And then with K18 you have to wait six minutes after you put it on and then you put other products on. Four minutes are up. Next I use Olaplex number six. This is the Bond Smoother Leave-In Styling Treatment. I like to use this to help with frizz. And then with every other wash, I'll use Colorwell Dream Coat. I did use this um, in my last wash, so I'm not going to use this today, but for when I use this, I'll just section my hair and then drench my hair until it's like sopping wet in this. Um, it helps with frizz and it makes your hair really shiny. I feel like with the Dyson you need help with frizz, especially if you have my type of hair. I've got wavy curly hair. The next thing you're going to want to use is a hair mousse. I use the Dyson Chi to Sun Pre-Styling Cream Straight to Wavy Rich Conditioning. Okay, what this does, two times the hold without the crunch. On the Dyson website, the description says this has two times the hold without the crunch, engineered with Dyson technology, up to 50% less unwanted frizz, locks in natural movement and shine. Honestly, I just wanted to try to see if this helped actually hold your Dyson curls. I do find this is really well. I have only used it three times, so I feel like I need to test it out a little bit more to give a full review, but I do like it. She just is really expensive. I bought this and I do really like it. However, it's £50, so you can definitely find products that do the same thing. Sometimes I'll just use a hair mousse. This is the Lulabelle Sleek Style and Set Mousse. This is literally like seven, eight pounds. And sometimes I'll use that. Use a couple pumps of this. Just on the mid to, mid to end lengths of my hair. To go in with another product, this is my Redken Acidic Color Gloss Heat Protecting Treatment. I'm really big on heat protecting, honestly it's so important if you want healthy hair. So I've got my Dyson, I like to start with this head. Attachments I've got, I've got the long barrel air wrap, it's got this one, this barrel, the round brush, the round brush I absolutely love. It's got a smoothing attachment and then another smoothing attachment. Honestly, I don't know what this does. And then this is the flyaway attachment, but I just use it as an air, a blow dryer. Settings that I like to have it on, I love it on max heat and max 
power. Dry my hair until it's about 80% dry and I'll really focus on my roots because it's really important to have your roots fully dry or your curls will drop really quickly. I personally don't like doing Dyson curls when my hair is completely dry. I'll always make sure I dampen it a little bit before I'll put some mousse in or something because they just will not hold. You have to make sure your hair is a little bit wet. So I won't part my hair to do this, I will just rough dry it. I like to dry my roots upside down like this, so I get more volume. So now I'm done with the rough drying, I will just brush through it again. Take this head off. I'm going to put the round brush on. I will dry my bangs first. I really need to get my hair done as well. I'm actually thinking about growing out my hair, but also I have to go darker. I did like a hair a hair filter on tiktok and everyone was telling me to go brunette but i just don't think i could ever go brunette i've always been a blonde like i'm i'm a, i'm a natural blonde so going brunette is pretty scary and also if i go this is irrelevant but if i go brunette then i have to put all the damage back onto my hair and i want to go blonde again and i know obviously i want to go blonde again. dry my bangs frontwards Okay, and then I'm going to section the rest of my hair. I like to start from the bottom and work way, way up to the top. I like to brush each, se each section as I go, so it's nice and smooth when I curl it. So there's two different barrels, but I like to go in with the larger one because this one's for, more, for a more tight curl, and I like a little, a little bit more of a looser, bouncier curl, so I like this one. So I'm going to section my hair from the back depending on what side it is are going a different direction if that makes sense so i always go outwards i never do an inwards curl if your dyson does this it means that it's the wrong way around so if it tries to do that then it tries to take this inwards and you don't want the curl on this side to go inwards you want it to go outwards around your face I find inwards curls are really unflattering so what you'll do is you twist the top to change direction i like to hold my piece of hair from the middle and let it attach at the bottom see so it wraps around tightly around the barrel and then i like to pull it up and down so that it gets tighter and then when I get to this point, I start to roll my Dyson so that it wraps around. I hold for 10 seconds and then I call for 10 seconds. Turn it off and then I pull down. And there you go, it's like a little, 1800s curl it's like henry the eighth i will twist the top move on to the other side i like to take a section again that big i don't like to do any bigger or any smaller and pull down okay i'm gonna finish the rest of my hair now um i'm just gonna do it sped up
that is the Dyson Curls done. I feel like it's giving Utah curls. I'm just going to hairspray them a little bit. I'm using the got to be hairspray. This is my favorite one. So now you're done with your curls, you will want to brush them out, obviously. I'm going to take out my bangs. You're going to take your comb and just tease the ends. I mean, it's really, it just gives like Victoria's Secret bombshell hair. <laughs> Okay, so this is how I maintain my blowout now because this is what's so important. What you will need is a bonnet. Do not sleep on the bonnet. Well, you will sleep on the bonnet, but don't sleep on buying the bonnet because they, it's literally changed my life. I never wake up with bad hair now. If you sleep in a bonnet, you will never wake up with bad hair. It's like impossible to have a bad hair day. It reduces your split ends. It reduces your breakage. It's just a game changer another reason why your curls might not be holding is because you don't have enough layers in your hair i know getting layers can be really scary because it feels like you get a lot of your hair cut off but i just feel like it just adds so much style to your haircut i can't tell you how much of a game changer layers in your hair is for holding your curls this blowout would literally probably already been gone if i didn't have enough if i didn't have the amount of layers that i do on my hair thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a like and share and subscribe because i'm going to be posting a lot of videos like this i'm going to be posting glow up videos victoria's secret makeup tutorials just that kind of vibe my favorite products i will see you next week bye